Well, as Daniel Riley's trial comes to an end, it's clearly a chapter of St. Louis's history that no one wants repeated. Unfortunately, all eyes will turn to another violent wreck that took the lives of a Chicago mother and daughter. As that court case plays out, Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy looks into the urgent need for safety. Hi there, good to be with you. Whether it's blowing red lights or driving at dangerous speeds, many have called for change. But are elected leaders moving at the same rate as out of control drivers? It's as clear as the red light. You just gotta be very observant. St. Louis has a problem. People don't stop at stop signs or red lights. On Valentine's Day, 42-year-old Leticia Bracero and her daughter, 21-year-old Alyssa Cordova, were run down at 18th and Olive after the Drake concert by an alleged out-of-control driver. The Chicagoans died. We want to make sure that people are safe. The next day, Mayor Tashara Jones pointed the spotlight to other elected leaders. This also renews our call uh, for more street safety initiatives that are currently being installed at the Board of Aldermen. On February 28th, about six months after the board's proposal, a committee discussed the drafted bills that would bring back red light cameras. Cities that have these in place um, have seen reductions and violations since those have been um, installed. Has the board stalled? No. I mean, the session's not over. The board expects the proposal will pass by the end of the current session, which ends in April. But what else is happening? We are doing uh, everything that we possibly can and humanly possible uh, to uh, make our streets safer by deploying our upper resources uh, to address street safety. The Fox Files started to dig into the money. In May of 2022, the city invested 86 million of American Rescue Plan Act funds into repaving major streets, trimming trees, maintaining city recreation centers, and providing additional lighting. Nearly a year later, in March of 2023, the city forked over an additional 40 million in ARPA funds to implement completed traffic safety studies, make improvements to the most dangerous intersections and main thoroughfares, including this one at South Grand and Forest Park Parkway. And nearly one year to the day. It's extremely busy. Some think it's complete chaos. Yeah, I think it's almost confusing for the driver because it's like one, two, three, four, it's like a million lights. So I usually just know that like this lane right here is the one way. Um, so just know that cars can only turn in right here. And so once I cross over there, I know I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay. But this is like the most dangerous part. There were 51 deadly crashes last year in the city of St. Louis, nine involving pedestrians. Police provided stats reveal that's actually fewer fatalities than 2022, 2021, and 2020. Well, the mayor says she's deploying ARPA resources. Nothing has actually changed at this intersection, even a year later. Why is that? We're moving as quickly as we possibly can. Nick Dunn, a spokesman for the city of St. Louis, says the city hopes to start construction by the end of the year or early next, that the city is still in the design phase. Well, infrastructure takes time to design and engineer. If we just threw down pavement uh, and left it at that, that would be breaking our promise to the citizens of St. Louis. <laughs> Alderman Rasheen Aldridge represents the 14th Ward, where Leticia and Alyssa lost their lives at 18th and Olive crossing the street. He questions if they'd be here today if red light cameras were active. Even if we passed it two or three months ago, I don't think we would have seen red light cameras instantly on uh, street corners. There's still a process that has to go through. Meaning? I believe if red light cameras was here, it, this accident still would have happened. The Alderman thinks making streets safer may go beyond spending money and installing red light cameras. And it's about changing the minds and the culture of the way that people drive in St. Louis. The city has numerous traffic projects happening right now. For a timeline on all of them and to see a list of the most dangerous intersections, head over to our website, fox2now.com. I'll make sure it's all right there. For the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy.